I'm a high schooler in um, London, UK. Okay. I want to get into quant. Um, I'm taking a gap year. So I'm going to be starting university a year later than everyone else. So I'm wondering, you know, what are the best kinds of things I could do in a gap year that can, I guess, put me ahead, you know? What degree are you going for? Joint maths and computer science. Um, every day I make at least one program, um, no matter what, every day. And every single day has to be more complex than the previous day. I've been doing this since... It was a New Year's resolution, so I've been doing this for like 90 days now. 60 okay. days. So. Yeah, that's 90 good, days. That's a good resolution. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, honestly, dude, focus on getting cracked for the first two years. Where you need to start ramping up or where, where things get serious is in your third year summer. Because that's when the internships start coming up, right? That's when you start yeah. want to start applying for the firms you don't want to work at first and then the firms you want to work at later. Because if you apply for the firms you don't want to work at that are maybe, maybe they're not the top cream of the crop firms, but they're respectable and they reject you, then the cream of the crop firms, they're not going to hire you. Yeah. Right? So effectively, you want to position yourself for the uh, firms that are quote unquote, I don't like this word, this verbiage, but lower tier. And then you go for like the higher tier firms after you get really good reception from the lower tier firms, if that makes sense. Also... Regarding the gap year, um, I'm wondering, like, one of my concerns is being a year behind everyone else because, of course, I'll be entering the job market full time a year later. However, I think that I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm considering, like, starting a startup during my gap year um, with a couple of friends. I have some, like, really cracked friends. Um, I go to, like, a top five school in London, top five high school. So I have a couple of friends also taking a gap year. I'm, I'm wondering, like, what do you think about doing a startup straight out of high school? What's the end goal? Uh, just to make money um, before we start university. What's gonna happen is there's either a couple, there's two different things that are gonna happen. Either you make a ton of money and you're like, why do I need to go to school and you drop out? What are, what are the odds you think that happens? That's a long percent. Okay. The next situation is you don't make a ton of money, but you have this experience and it can either be misconstrued as you wanting to be a startup person and not a quant person, or it can be construed as yeah. you're indecisive, which is not good. Um, and the best case for you there is you get experience and knowledge that's the best case but is doing a startup the best way to gain experience and knowledge in a world where people see startup people that drop out of startups as being indecisive probably not so doing a startup for the sake of doing it knowing it probably isn't going to lead somewhere full-time isn't the best idea in my opinion if you're doing a startup for the purpose of learning there's plenty of other platforms out there that can help you learn and get cracked there is Pluralsight.com, which has dozens of different courses. All right. There's dozens of books that I can recommend. Just doing a start. That's what that's what a lot of you guys try to do, and no shade to you, but like a lot of guys, you guys are trying to start at the end. So you guys are trying to start like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be like a million dollar startup person, and then I'm gonna break into quant from that. Like, why not just take the slow and easy and the slow and steady path, not the easy path, the slow and steady path, and just be the ordinary guy that put in the hours and knows his shit. Why does everybody need to be a founder of like a Fortune right. 500 Y Combinator startup out of kindergarten? Yeah. You know, like I'm at a top, t I'm at a top five kindergarten. Like, dude, just calm down and just, you know, do your work properly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Alright. Um, one more thing. Yeah. Uh, I have actually two more, two more things. I, I have like um, a small business. Uh, I do like TikTok on the side. It makes me a couple hundred a month. I have like six point five k saved up. 
Um, okay. I want to invest it. Uh, I have no clue what to do though. Um, you want to invest it? Like, you want to invest it in yourself or in the stock market? Yeah. Uh, both. Okay, I probably can't get financial advice at the moment, so I'm not going to tell you what to invest in the stock market. But in yourself, um, courses, and not the scam courses like, yo, how to get women and stuff. I'm talking about the courses that revolve around like, uh, so this is like a, a yearly subscription to like a learning platform where you have dozens of different instructors that have courses for you and you just pay 120 bucks a year, like Pluralsight, which I highly recommend. Right, um, courses related to, like when I was learning Q and KDB, I signed up for like Q related courses that were learning outside of work, right? And books, like I have a book here called C++ The Lambda Story. It's 150 pages on just what our lambdas in C++. Right. right? People don't even, most people don't know what a lambda is under the hood, yeah. it's crazy in C++. Okay. That's, oh, I, I don't have any experience with C++ in all honesty, but I, I am planning to learn. Okay. Yeah, uh, C++ um, is going to, you're only going to need to know that if you want to be a developer. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm going to have somebody else on.